Good afternoon, I'm Greg Otto, and I lead the cloud services team at Comcast with responsibilities for our Pivotal Cloud Foundry environment. It's really an honor to be here and to see such a growing and vibrant community and all the additional folks that have joined. Uh, it's really a privilege to be here. Since the foundation came to me just last week to come and speak to you all, I thought I might take some creative liberties with my content. <laughs> so I want to shamelessly plug Comcast. <laughs> Nick, thank you for the, uh, for the kickoff. So it's a really exciting team to be part of because we had the courage and foresight to disrupt ourselves, to change the way in which we develop and deliver software. I think this became most evident with the success that we've had with our X1 platform. We have over 16 million X1 boxes in customers' homes, and there's new products and services that are being delivered faster than ever on top of this new platform. And it's being delivered in a multi-cloud way. We've already heard about multi-cloud delivery, and you're going to see that as a theme throughout the rest of the conference. And it's really a privilege for me to be part of Comcast and seeing the X1 team delivering in a multi-cloud way for years now. So it's going to be really interesting to see how that develops over the course of this conference and the course of the coming years. A really proud moment for me was late last year in 2015 when we went live in production with business critical services from our back office systems on our new Cloud Foundry environment. We're seeing many millions of transactions every single day. We put Cloud Foundry directly in the customer critical path. We have applications that are running 30,000 events a second on this new platform. So I want to take you through our journey briefly, because I have seven minutes and 57 seconds left. So it started in late 2014. We met with some of the folks from Pivotal, and it became immediately apparent that they were just as passionate and excited about change as we were. So we hit it off right away. So I went to a couple of my engineers who are here with me this week, and I told them, pack your bags. We're going to Denver. We're going to do a two-day workshop where on day one, we're going to build the patch platform. And then on day two, we're going to push applications to it. We're going to pick a couple of the developers from our product teams, and we're going to do this workshop. And we did it. We had a successful workshop, and that was great. But definitely the team sort of felt like this, and I think Angel can relate to this, because I hadn't really told them before we went about Cloud Foundry. They had to figure it out. There was a lot of Googling that was going on, and I was certainly not the most popular person to Comcast before we went. But there was a lot of buzz in the community because they saw how easy it was to work with the platform. We had a successful prototype that was created 30 days after we had the workshop. Some of the best things that happened actually after we left. There was a lot of magic because of the interface and the ease of which the developers were able to work with this platform. So my engineers had to think about what do we need to do in order to scale this platform? What is it going to take to design and build and onboard new applications? So we started to dig into some of the details. And it started to feel like this. This is definitely not for the faint of heart. There's a lot of considerations. And there's a lot of components to instrument. But again, I had confidence in the team. Appreciate it, guys. And they were able to design and build and scale this platform and onboard more applications. And the most important thing is that we worked really closely with the development teams so that they knew that we were going through this transformation together. I want to walk through briefly our approach. There were a lot of layers of complexity to our approach. But in summary, the first thing that we needed to do was we needed to pick a product. So we placed a bet on Cloud Foundry. And clearly, it's winning in this space. We spent most of our time focusing on our people, the people on my cloud team, certainly the people in the development organizations, the people that we partnered with, 
And then, of course, we had the Cloud Foundry community. And we learned a lot of things together. Once we were able to get everyone confident that we were going through this transformation together, it was a lot easier to channel our passion into creating the outcomes that we had expected. And we did realize some really big benefits. So let's get to those. Two of the emerging highlights in terms of benefits came from the time it takes to deliver a new feature when there's a new idea or a new requirement from the business, getting that delivered as a feature in an application or a product could take several weeks at least. And now with the new platform, the experience was it took two to three days. Big improvement. A huge area of opportunity was around product scaling. Some of our applications, it took sometimes months in order to scale our platforms in order to meet the ever-growing business demands. And now, that happens in minutes. And it happens automatically because we were able to enable the auto-scaling features in our platform. So definitely a lot of big improvements that we saw were really bullish on Cloud Foundry. We're definitely really excited to be part of this community. We hope to see you at some of our talks. We have two talks that are happening on Wednesday. Both are happening the same day. First, you're going to hear from Tim and Neville about how wonderful it is to work for me. <laughs> and then they're also going to talk about what it's like to run this environment in production with the scale that we have so far. And we're onboarding new applications all the time. And then the second talk is really interesting. So Nick from our development organization has also joined us, right, in the Better Together story with respect to what it was like for the developers to go through this process. Because for the development teams, they went through a very different experience than we did, and they did a lot of heavy lifting. So you definitely want to come and check Nick out, because he has a lot of really good information to share. And we're really excited to hear your feedback. So just to wrap things up, a couple of things that we highlighted are workshop proof of concept, two days. Appreciate it. The service prototype, so the developers that went and continued to working uh, with our cloud team after we left, delivered a working prototype of services within 30 days, which is really impressive. And then some of the big features that are really helping drive more and more developers onto the platform are the idea to feature, having that process, that creative process take from weeks to just a couple of days and then my favorite is scaling of the platforms from months down to minutes. Have a great conference. Thank you very much. <laughs>